If you sit here or here and things aren't running as smoothly as you would like, you may be thinking that the product owner is the source of your woes. Perhaps your product owner really is evil, but it's more likely that your problem lies elsewhere. Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to Development That Pays. The mind works in strange ways. At least mine does. A few weeks ago, I was walking through the Inns of Court here in London, headphones on, listening, kind of, to a podcast. An actor was being interviewed. Don't remember his name, but it might have been Albert Finney. Someone of that ilk. Whoever it was, he was talking about a new role and wasn't really paying attention, but somehow the conversation got on to spectacles, glasses. How the choice of style of the glasses was important in establishing the character. And also, due to his advancing years, uh, it was important to be able to see the other cast members clearly enough to be able to read their expressions. And then he said something that stopped me in my tracks. I can't wear my own glasses because of the reflections. That line was enough to jolt my brain into action, taking me via a number of kind of strange intermediate steps all the way to product owners. My first thought was, of course reflections on an actor's glasses would be a problem. Why had I never thought of that before? My second thought was a picture like this. I should point out that I'm a physics grad, so pictures like this are often in my brain. The picture shows what happens when light encounters a boundary. Portion is reflected and, assuming the second material is translucent, ooh, that's hard to say, translucent, a portion is transmitted. The actual proportion that's reflected is determined by the relative refractive indices of the two materials. My third thought was, I know how to reduce the reflection. Imagine adding a layer of material to the glass that has a refractive index roughly halfway between that of air and glass. We've replaced a large step change with two smaller step changes. Although this adds a reflective surface, when all the calculations are done, more of the light gets through and consequently the reflections are reduced. I know what you're thinking. Why stop at one layer? Why indeed? Turns out that you can get even more light through by applying a coating that continuously varies the refractive index from low to high. More light is transmitted, less light is reflected. My fourth thought, and this one is particularly weird, was impedance matching. I told you there were some strange thoughts in my head. Here's an electronic component. It sends a signal to a second electronic component. At the boundary, a certain portion of the signal from the first component makes it to the second component. That's a good thing. But a certain portion is reflected. That's a bad thing. The proportion that's reflected is determined by the difference in the resistances, more correctly, the impedances of the two components. Sound familiar? Yes, it's another discontinuity. It's another step change. The solution in this case is different to the one that we saw with the spectacle lenses. In this case, the components are designed so the output resistance of the first component is as close as possible to the input resistance of the second component. My fifth thought was, I wonder what else is like this? What are examples of things where there is an interface, a discontinuity, a step change, where performance or transfer of signal or something like that can be improved either by smoothing the step out, as we saw with the glasses, or by reducing the size of the step, as we saw with the electronic components? My brain provided a perplexing response. This scribble drawing, a drawing that I'd done months earlier, it's not quite as abstract as it looks. The sketch represents a real life team, a team of which I was a member, a team that was struggling. There was no shortage of talent and ability, but somehow this group of people was producing very ordinary results. And then I understood boundaries, step changes. The problem wasn't with anything I'd drawn. The problem lay in the gaps between what I had drawn like materials with different refractive indices or electronic components with different resistances or impedances, there are discontinuities between each of these players. Next time, I'll spill the beans on the discontinuities in this particular team, and I'll talk more about what can be done to smooth the steps and what can be done to reduce the size of the steps. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. There's a new episode of Development That Pays each and every Wednesday. By far the easiest way to get it is to subscribe to this channel. Hit the big red button and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Cheers for now.